Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to create communication profiles to connect to a server. Most applications have the need to connect to a server, mainly to connect to a database. Here's a schematic of the process. As you can see, all the devices connect to MIS Communicator, which then connects to the database. So, in Calypso, we need to create a communication profile, regardless of working offline or online. A, Calypso, a communication profile is you telling Calypso how it can reach the server. On the server, you'll set up MIS Communicator, the Calypso component responsible to manage all the connections coming from the devices. The communication server can be any Windows computer you want, there's no special requirement. If you've installed Calypso from the setup, MIS Communicator is already installed in your machine and you don't need to do anything. Let's start then by setting up a communication profile. Click the communication button in the toolbar and press the Add button. We're going to start by creating a TCP IP communication profile. Let's call it TCP. You can see it's the default selected by Calypso. This type of profile can be used for Wi-Fi, USB or GPRS communications. In each case, we simply have to specify the server and port. The server can be a name or an IP address. The port must be available and unused by any other program than uh, MIS Communicator. So, with the default settings, we're telling Calypso that our application can connect to George uh, PC, which is the machine you're looking into, on port 8000. Don't forget to make sure that this port doesn't get blocked by any firewall. The best thing to do is to add MIS Communicator to the allowed programs, both in the firewall and antivirus software. In case of running this profile with Wi-Fi, there's no special requirement. For USB, it's only possible for Windows Mobile or Windows CE, and you need to install Windows Mobile Device Center. Although we won't use it directly, we will use an API installed by it. For GPRS, you need to bear in mind that the server will probably be the address of a router which can be a public IP address or a dynamic DNS address. In either cases, you need to forward the port by NAT from the router to the machine where MIS Communicator will be. When developing for Windows Mobile or Windows Desktop, you need to be aware of the Connection Manager parameter, useful for GPRS connections. In the case of Windows Mobile, you can set this parameter to Auto Internet if you want the operative system to manage the connection. In this case, the OS activates a connection if necessary. You can set it to Auto Work, which behaves like Auto Internet, but for VPNs. You can set it to Yes, and the OS will prompt the user for which connection to activate. You can set it to No to manage yourselves. This means that you're responsible for activating any connection if necessary. For that reason, Calypso enables these fields and you can specify the connection name. Whenever this profile is needed, Calypso activates the connection and deactivates it at the end for battery control purposes. It's also possible to activate or deactivate connections by action. In case of Windows Desktop, you can set Connection Manager to Auto Mobile Broadband and Calypso will try to activate the mobile broadband connection that you specify here under the connection name. I'm going to leave it by default, like always, and I'm going to press Save to create our TCP IP communication profile. Although we are not going to need it, we're going to create another communication profile. We'll call it Bluetooth Socket. And we're going to select the Bluetooth 
socket communication type. This type of communication profile should be used for Bluetooth communications, but will not work in Windows CE, and it's possible that some Windows mobiles won't work either, but it should be a minority. The big advantage of this communication type is that it doesn't require you to create any type of virtual COM port. It relies only on the server's Bluetooth MAC address. You still need to pair both devices, but that's all you need. Remember, Android doesn't have virtual COM ports, so this is the solution when connecting by Bluetooth with Android devices. I'm going to check my Bluetooth MAC address. So I have here my Bluetooth settings. I'm going to go hardware, properties, advanced, and here it is my Bluetooth address, my, the MAC address of my Bluetooth. So 40, not this, because this is what we want to see. Sorry, I'm typing in the wrong field. We want the MAC address. Sorry about that. So to C F4. It's a shame we can't copy this parameter. 77 38 A0. 38 A zero. There you go. So let's just press save to create our Bluetooth socket communication profile. Although we are not going to need it either, we are going to create another communication profile. This time we'll call it local and select the local type. This type of communication profile should be used for any type of serial port communication. Like discussed before, we need it to communicate by Bluetooth in Windows CE devices. You should pair the devices and then check the COM port associated with the specified server and select it. So I can check it out on my mobile device which COM port is associated with George PC. In this case, COM6. So I would select here COM6. No need to change anything else, and we press save. And yet again, another communication profile created. Now, although I'm not going to add any other communication profile, I want to talk to you about two safety measures, regardless of the type of the communication profile. We can encrypt the data, and you can also set a password that has to be provided to MIS Communicator in order to be able to exchange data. You can see that those parameters are enabled in all the profiles that we have created. Now, for TCP IP and Bluetooth socket communication profiles, Calypso automatically connects to MIS Communicator and sets up the necessary corresponding profiles. For the local ones, we must specify the server's COM port used for Bluetooth. For that reason, and for training purposes, we are going to open MIS Communicator and set up the corresponding profiles manually. We can open MIS Communicator directly from Calypso in this launch button. Let's press Connections and then New. In the upcoming window, we set a description which, for coherence, we are going to use the same ones that we have set on our project. So this first one, let's call it TCP. And of course, set the port to 8000, just like we set on Calypso Designer. Save, New. Now it's time for the Bluetooth socket. So Bluetooth socket. And we select Bluetooth here. No more parameters, so we just save and press new again, call it local. Select local COM port. And don't forget to specify the server's 
incoming com, com port, which we can also check here in my Bluetooth settings, com ports, you can see com24 as incoming. So I would input here 24. Leave all the other options as they are, just like in Calypso. Save and exit. We leave again. Go back to our designer and everything is set up. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial on how to set up communication profiles. See you on the next one.